when you've got a face like this, you get used to mean comments. I hate face tattoos on a woman. It makes them look trashy. I am stunning, what can I say? <laughs> it looks like big bruises. Maybe you need your eyesight tested. Those face tats look really bad, like she walked in front of a projector. <laughs> That's quite funny, though. It's quite funny. Yeah. I'm Sarah, and I'm addicted to getting tattoos. I'm here to read out some of the harshest comments people leave me. One of the harshest comments I've received has got to be, I hate face tattoos on a woman. It makes them look trashy. Well, you look trashy without them, so it is what it is. The most common insult I get has to be, looks like you've fallen asleep at a party and it's just so overused, it's boring as well. It's the same as, you know, your school desk or anything like that. It's, I'd say if you're gonna insult me, can you please use something better? Not happy of yourself then. I definitely get that a lot. My mental health is the best it's ever been. I used to be addicted to drugs, but now I'm clean. I do find tattoos help that. I got my first face tattoo about two years or so ago. My first face tattoo was my daughter's name and her date of birth, 11-10-2014, which is in the middle of my forehead. I know it sounds bad, but when my daughter's older, if she comes up with copying her mum, getting any face tattoos, I probably wouldn't agree with it, just because that's my daughter and I just wouldn't want her to do it. Could have spent the money on her kids, but hooray for being sober. That's quite a funny one. Don't worry about what I'm spending on tattoos because my daughter gets double that, so. It looks like big bruises, not very attractive at all. I can't say I understand that one. Like, how my tattoos look like bruises at all. Maybe you need your eyesight tested. Those face tats look really bad, like she walked in front of a projector. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite funny though. It's quite funny. Yeah, I can't be offended at it. It's funny. <laughs> I quite like that one. That is good. A DM that has stayed with me the most has got to be this one. Your tattoos are wicked. I think face tattoos show strength and that you are not afraid to be outside of the box, which makes you brave and strong. Society will always try to keep you in line with what's acceptable and what's not. As long as you're happy, who should care? That definitely stays with me. It just shows that there is a lot of supporters out there that will see that face tattoos do take strength. I am not afraid to be outside of the box. I'm going to take a selfie and see what kind of comments I get. I'd say when I first started getting face tattoos and more tattoos, I decided to become a bit more active on social media. I saw it as a chance to show other people that you can be whoever you want to be and it doesn't matter what others say, it's just about living for yourself. On Instagram, I've got about 20,000 followers. People are definitely meaner on social media. Now it's time to see what people are saying on my selfie. I've got stunning from a girl on my Instagram. It definitely gives me a little confidence boost, you know, especially from other girls. I'm not really surprised by that comment. I am stunning, what can I say? I've got a fire emoji for diamond and a fire emoji. Yeah, I've got three fire emojis, a standard comment. A lot of my comments are just fire emojis, if I'm honest. Usually the fire emojis are left by creepy guys that I would never give a chance in my life. <laughs> These comments today hasn't shocked me at all. A lot of them I get very, very regularly. To some people they might be extremely harsh, a lot of them, but honestly I am so used to it I just brush it off my shoulder now. No matter how much hate I get I'm going to keep posting and keep getting tattoos, so keep hating. <laughs>